Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to another episode of Barbershop Talk Radio. I'm your host, Young Slim, and I'm Kim. And I'm Kim. <laughs> Today is August the 20... What time is it? Uh, where? Where's the time? Uh, uh, August 24th, right? 24th? That's August tw- no, it doesn't say that. Right there, eight twenty-four twenty. Uh, eight twenty-four twenty. I didn't see that. I just saw. The, I just saw uh, the time. I didn't see the date. August twenty-fourth, two thousand and twenty, and it is a Monday, and it has been an interesting, interesting week for the most part. I mean, the week just started. Oh. Past week, last week, yeah. last week, I'm I mean, in the interesting past week, an interesting weekend. We have had another shooting of another unarmed African American in this country, shot seven times in the back. Um, we've also had, I don't know if this, I don't know if this is true or not, but I was told that um, Thomas. From the Ravens, Earl Thomas. Earl Thomas. I don't know if he got released. Is that true? I'm not sure. That's the first one hearing it. I don't know if that's true or not. I think Earl Thomas was released from the Ravens. I don't know because he got in a fight or some shit like that. I'm not sure if it's true or not. Allegedly, let's say that. And then we also had the season finale of The Shy, season three, was which was also a huge disappointment to me. Um, they did he get released? They released him. They did release him. Okay. Okay. I oh, heard he was... wow. It says, Stephen A. Smith says, Ravens must pay ex-safety Earl Thomas the guaranteed money he was owed in 2020. Woo! Is he going to pay him that $10 million? I guess so. Whatever his contract was. I heard he was supposed to make $10 million. He was released for contract... Conduct detrimental to the team. Yeah, he, he got in a fight. He got in a fight with a, a six-round draft pick, That, from what I heard. Allegedly. Allegedly. I don't. I don't know if it's true or not, but I think. Yeah, I think he got in a fight. I think he got in a scrap in, in in practice, and they released him. But they still got to pay him that money. If they got to pay him that money, it was stupid to release him. Yes, yeah, Baltimore believes that Thomas's actions left the team with no choice but to cut ties with the safety. Thus, the organization feels it shouldn't need to pay Thomas the ten million he was guaranteed. <laughs> Legal battle likely ahead <laughs> in Thomas's camp in the Ravens. Ten million. Ten million. They owe him ten million. Uh, I knew he was uh, supposed to make ten million. Steve Smith says, I don't give a damn what happened with him and that team. I don't give a damn if the players themselves supported him getting traded or have him let go. Smith said on first take on Monday, you give that man his money. Give him his money. I'm with you, Stephen A. I'm um, with you. Release comes just seventeen months after he signed a four year, fifty five million dollar deal with Baltimore. Wow. Yeah, it says, in Smith's opinion, not paying Thomas the guaranteed money he was due would set a bad precedent for teams moving forward. You signed him to a contract. I'm talking essentially. But guess what? If you determine that's enough to not pay up, pay him, do you understand what kind of precedent that would set? You can come up with any kind of excuse of something that is detrimental to the team to get out of paying them money you agreed to pay them. That's not good enough. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey, let's applaud Stephen A. Where, where's the applaud? Let's let's uh, let's applaud Stephen A. Right here. You got it. Let's applaud him. He signed a contract. They they want the player to the con to the contract. Absolutely. They want these players to. They want these players to stick to the contract, mm-hmm. but when they outperform, but they don't want to honor it. But when they don't feel like honoring, it, they feel like it's just uh, we don't have to honor it. Yeah. Yo, four years. You know, they play one year. Like you said, you can come up with any excuse that his conduct was detrimental, detrimental to the to team. team. Exactly. Anything. That anything. They can good. come up with anything. Oh, he pooped and didn't flush the toilet in yeah. the team in the locker room. He didn't that's, brush his teeth. That's <laughs> conduct detrimental to the team. So let's release him, and we don't have to pay, hole. and we don't have to pay him the money that we owe him. Him. Come on, come on. That's why the NFL needs to Give like man his money and let him move on. That's it. That's it. They owe him the money. 
But that's what the NFL. The NFL but gets away with the come into a long, lengthy court battle, which the Ravens will probably most likely end up winning. In no, they're not. They're gonna have to pay them. They're gonna have so? to pay them something. Yes, they're gonna have to pay them something. Yeah, you cannot say, hey, you're not good enough for this team. But in the end, for no reason. Oh, con- they're gonna. They didn't cut them for performance. They cut them. They cut them for conduct. conduct detrimental to the team. Yes. Yeah. So you cannot say that you didn't. You didn't not want to pay me for performance. Potential. So you didn't say you didn't cut me. You didn't cut me for performance. You cut me for conduct. Yeah. And you could say conduct is anything. Yeah. So they're gonna have to pay them. They're gonna have to pay them at yeah, least that ten but, million. So in the meantime, which was supposed to be guaranteed, court, the Ravens gonna spend a lot of money on legal fees. Not only and what's his name, Earl Thomas is gonna spend a lot of money on legal fees, and in the end, what's he really getting? Because he spent it all on legal fees, but battling the Ravens just to get this money. It's just not. It's just they'd, like they'd rather spend thousands of dollars in legal fees than have to pay of dollars. To, but it's about what's fair. If you want, if you want players to honor contracts, the teams have to start honoring these contracts. You can't just say I don't want you no more. That's why the NFL sucks because th- there's no guaranteed contracts, and w- what's guaranteed to these players should be guaranteed to these players. Give them their money. Give them their money. You're a billion dollar entity. Give the players their money. That's all I am saying. You can afford to give that man ten million dollars. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Like They're making. Billion dollar, trillion dollar deals. You release them in the middle of a pandemic, okay? It's a drop in the bucket compared to what they're making. Are choosing to like sit out the season. You're releasing this man. If he doesn't get picked up, at least he can live off of that ten million for the rest of the year. He's not. He's not just some guy. He's a future Hall of Famer. He's a Super Bowl champion. It was. I don't know. They went thirteen and three and lost in the second round of the playoffs. You think somebody's gonna pick he, him up? He he definitely yeah, absolutely. He's a Hall of Famer and he's and he still can play. Even though he got caught in an entanglement and got caught with his uh meat out and his girl put a gun to his head, that has nothing to do with that's this. The same guy. Yeah, that's real. Oh, oh. Caught him in their vacation home. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh got caught with his wee wee. Uh, I guess running a train or a menage yeah, a trois, and his brother, him and his brother like knocking some boots, yeah. knocking boots with some chicks. And his wife comes walking in like, oh, no, you didn't. And she took the clip out. She took the clip out there. Was one in the chamber. Hold on. Oh, she was smoking. Yeah, yeah. She was chasing around with a gun and shit. Team, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you remember the story. But what she didn't know. She chasing around the car. What she didn't know. Was the fact that there was a friggin' uh, bullet in the chamber of the gun? Yeah, yeah. She I took heard the that. clip out. She took the but clip out. That there was, but there was there. still yeah. a bullet in the chamber of the gun, and she put it to his head, and then, and then ended up, she ended up chasing him around the car with the gun, which has nothing to do with this. But at the same time, she could if she would have just com- pretended to pull the trigger. She would have blew his wig off. Like, it would have been crazy. No, that wasn't the wrong gun. It was the. That's what it would have been. And that would have been it. But, back to, 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 to his contract, I'm not exactly sure. I know it was four years, $55 million. That's what I said, yeah. And they owed him $10 million? A year or something like that. And $20,000 $20, sign-on bonus. A $20,000? Okay, so he almost got most of that. Yeah, so $20 million sign-on and 32 guaranteed. Thir- uh, so 32 guaranteed, but a $20 million sign-on bonus. So he got most of his money up front. Right. So he got $20 million yeah, It must have been like 10 a year. Or so something. all he would have did, listen to this. Years, so he would have made, so listen, so if he would have made $10 million this year, then... Hold on, let's go back, go back. Let me see it. So he would made if he would have made ten million this year, then they would have owed him two million dollars guaranteed for the next two years of the contract. So they already paid him twenty million up front, then they're gonna give him ten million this year, and then cause this is last year was his first year with them. Right. And he's then they would have then they owed him ten million this year yeah. and then two million for the last part of two million for the last part of the uh the contract that was guaranteed. Oh that's shitty. But they try to cut him, 
and get out of it, but it's crazy. But I know he got in a fight or something crazy with a six round pick, which there's no still. I think they're trying to get out of it. I think it's a money thing. Because it says throughout his time in Baltimore, Thomas had trouble fitting in. Before Thomas was released, multiple reports indicated that many players within the organization were in support of letting the safety go. Oh shit. And as Stephen A. Smith said, despite it all despite all this Smith believes that Thomas should be given every penny of what his contract says he's owed. He should Absolutely. not let this happen. I don't give a damn what the Ravens do. He was owed $10 million for this upcoming season. You pay him that damn $10 million. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. 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 So, let's, let's mean, take some teams. You're pay Patrick Mahomes $450 million, but you can't give this guy his $10 million. I know. I know. A Hall of Famer. A future Hall of Famer. He he deserves it. He deserves the money. He he's put it in his time. Just because he didn't mesh well with your team. Well, he didn't mesh well because he's probably a dickhead. I'm sure he, he came is. Came from the Seattle Seahawks. They're I'm sure assholes. He is. Yeah. He you didn't know. get along with anybody on there, which I get it. I mean, you ever worked at a job where you didn't get along with anybody? Yeah. Yeah. It happens. I, I've you been on team. I've, I've been on teams where I didn't get along. Yeah, with people, you just don't you know? fit well. But then you go to another job or another team, and you fit great. Yep. Everything's perfect. It's all like, about it's that. Just, it's yeah. all about. It's all about fitting. chemistry. Chemistry. Like, yep. You just don't fit on this team. But even though you don't fit on this team, you're still great for this team because this team was the best team in the NFL last year, pretty much. They were. Regardless if they won the Super Bowl or not, they were still the best team in the regular season last year. They were. The Ravens were the number one team during the regular season last year. So, oh, shit. What? This is Coach Ron Rivera from the Washington football team. Was that good with cancer? <laughs> my, my bad. Go ahead. Diagnosed with cancer? What? Ron Rivera was recently diagnosed with squamous, squamous cell sarcoma located in the lymph node in the Protected from a self-care check. His cancer is in an early stage and is considered very treatable and curable, providing a good prognosis for Coach Rivera for a full recovery. What? Ron Rivera has cancer? Yeah. Holy shit. Really? Wow. I didn't know that. That's breaking news. Holy shit. Yeah, he must not be playing this season because it says Washington no, it's not football playing. It's the head coach. wishes Coach Rivera a speedy recovery. And we will be supporting him every step of the way. Holy shit. I did not know that. Where'd you fucking find that? I don't know. It was just on this page. It just popped up. Like, oh, wait. Go down. Go down Washington a little bit. Football team. Oh, there, there it is. is. Holy shit. Ron, Ron Rivera. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, uh, hearts go out to... Mr. Uh, Coach Rivera and his family, man. Wow. That's crazy. He's like the third minority coach in the NFL. Really? There's like no black coaches or he's Hispanic. So, wow. Wow, 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 wow. And, and he's coaching the football team. What's his team? The football team. The, the Washington, Washington football, football team. Dan Schneider... Come on, dude. Get it together, dude. Like you got to be better than that. But uh, hopefully, uh, Coach Rivera beats this and bounces back, yeah, man. Cancer's not an easy road to go Shit. down. I don't. I don't even know what kind of cancer it is. What is it? It. Uh, it said it. Fucking. Um. I don't know what it is. It was squamous cell carcinoma. Full recovery. Ron Rivera had a tweet. That thank you for being full by the good proxy stage is considered their fifth and I know one. Located in a limp, right. head coach Ron Rivera was diagnosed with squamous cell carcinoma. Located in a lymph node and detected from a self care check. Uh, this is, and I quote in a statement from the Washington Football Team This cancer is in an early stage and is considered very treatable and curable. Provides a good prognosis for Ron Rivera, and many expect a full recovery. Ron Rivera in a tweet said, thank you for all the love and the support from the fans. And that's coming from him, his wife, Stephanie, and their children, Christopher and Courtney. 
obviously this comes at a awful time for the Rivera family and the Washington football organization as the team is undergoing training camp to prepare for week one against the Philadelphia Eagles on September 13th. In a series of reports from ESPN late Thursday night, Adam Schefter said that Washington football has a backup plan if Coach Rivera is unable to continue in his role as head coach. The only coach on the staff that has head coaching experience is Jack Del Rio. It would make sense if he would slide into an interim role as the head coach, although that is unknown at this point. This is the type of story where we're going to allow some level of privacy. We're not looking for the news to break on this one. We're going to wait to be told what happened. Myself and everyone at NBC Sports Washington is wishing Coach Rivera a full, healthy recovery. Wow. Wow! 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 Well, yeah, because hopefully he got cancer of the lymph nodes, which is not a fucking easy cancer to beat. I can't imagine it. Like I never even heard of it at all. But yeah. wow. what's in your lymph nodes? Like, what do you mean? What did he mean by it, it was a self check? Like, like he, he found the lump. He found it himself. Yeah, he must have been like feeling himself. And just like, oh like, shoot! What the fuck is this? And this don't feel right. Yeah. And they did yeah. Biopsy. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, hopefully, hopefully, nothing works out from uh, Coach Rivera. Juan Rivera is a verdadera 